Hello. In this video, we are going to find the value of, we have the square root of 9 times 10 times 11 times 12 and plus 1 without making use of a calculator. So we have solution and let's have our square root. So we have, this is equals to, we can write our 9, we have 9 times, instead of 10 here, we can have 9 plus 1 times instead of 11 we can have 9 plus 2 instead of 12 we can have times 9 plus 3 then we have plus 1 so the next thing we are going to do is we have this is equals to we can say let x be equals to 9. So wherever we have 9, we are going to replace it with x. So this is equals to, we have square root of, this is 9. So we have x times x plus 1 times we have x plus 2, x plus 3. Then we have plus 1. So we have equals to, let's try and rearrange this. We can have square root of x into, we bring this, we have x plus 3, then we have into x plus 1 and x plus 2. Then finally, we have plus 1. So the next thing we are going to do is to expand these brackets. So we are going to have this is equals to square root of. If you multiply this out, you are going to have x squared plus 3x. Then you have, if you multiply this out, you are going to have x squared plus 3x plus 2 then finally you have plus 1 so what do we do we can try and make this a bit shorter we can say let y be equals to x squared plus 3x because we have x squared plus 3x here and we have x squared plus 3x here. So that means we are going to have this is equals to square root of instead of this we are going to replace it with y into then instead of this we are going to have y plus what? 2 and we have plus 1. So this is equals to, let's multiply this out. We are going to have y power 2 plus 2y. Then we have plus 1. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to consider this identity. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equals to this is a plus b or power 2 so this is in the form of what we have inside the square root so that means we are going to replace what we have inside the square root by what we have here so that means what we are going to have is we are going to have equals to square root of y plus 1 power 2 and the square root here will cancel the square here so what we are going to have left is simply y plus 1 and don't forget that we can have it recall if you get back to the what we had before we have 
y is equals to, look at it here, x squared plus 3x. So we are going to replace this y with that. So we have, recall y is equals to x squared plus 3x. So that means we are going to have, this is equals to x squared plus 3x plus 1. Then that is not all. Recall also, recall also we had x is equals to 9. So that means instead of x here, we are going to replace it with 9. So we are going to have this is equals to 9 power 2 plus 3 into 9 plus 1. And this is equals to 9 power 2 is simply 81 plus 3 times 9 is simply 27 and we have plus 1. So if you add up everything here, 81 plus 27 plus 1, we are going to have 109. So you can as well say that the square root of 9 times 10 times 11 times 12 plus 1 is equals to 109 and we have not made use of any calculator so that is it for the video thank you and goodbye